Top 10 Worst Punishments in the World Welcome to the video guys. This video is going to make you cringe. It will also make you realize that you're extremely lucky to be born in this era. A thousand years ago, people were punished in the most terrible ways. The brutality and horror of these punishments will chill you to your bones. So stay tuned as we're going to tell you the 10 worst punishments in history. Number 1. Crucifixion In ancient times, nailing or tying people to a wooden cross and leaving them out in the elements was one of the most common and horrific punishments. The victim was left in the open to be seen by the townspeople while he had a slow and agonizing death. Authorities loved making examples out of people. This showed what would happen to them if they committed any crimes. This left the townspeople mentally crippled to commit any crime or go against the authorities. Crucifixion was performed to punish the most heinous of crimes, but sometimes they were performed for revenge as well. Victims were left on display after death as a warning to any other people that might double cross cause trouble. Crucifixion was intended to provide a death that was particularly slow, painful, gruesome, humiliating, and public using whatever means were most expedient for that goal. These practices were specifically common in the city of Rome as they had a place specified for carrying out executions. The number two, rats. The famous scene of Game of Thrones, the one that depicted a rat torture, was not only a script, it was a method of punishment for criminals. A bucket of rats would be placed on the exposed torso of the victim, and the other side of the bucket would be heated. The rats, unable to escape the bucket, would slowly eat away the victim's flesh to make way for itself. As we know, when something gets hot, we want to get away from it. The rat will do the same thing by tearing and gnawing their way into the abdomen of the victim, then proceeding to claw and ripping through the skin, flesh, organs, and intestines into their quest to escape. The victim would die a terrible death. This was also watched by many. Number 3. The Brazen Bull Though not many details are available of this method, it is still known that it was designed by the ancient Greeks. This method was also called the Sicilian Bull, as it was invented in Sicily. The Brazen Bull was a device made of bronze, in the shape and size of an actual bull. The person would be locked inside and a fire would be set beneath the bull, heating the bronze until the person inside got roasted to death. This device also had a system that converted screams of the condemned into the bellows of the bull. Number 4. Keel Hauling In the age of wooden sailing ships, the hull of a vessel would normally be coated in a thick layer of barnacles, whose shells are rock hard and razor sharp. The victim would be suspended from a rope, dropped from the bow of the ship, and then rapidly pulled underwater along the length of the hull and over the keel. While the sailor is being yanked relentlessly through the salt water, the barnacles would strip the skin from his body, gouging out chunks of flesh, and even tearing off whole limbs, sometimes including the head. It was a punishment that often ended in death, due to the severity of the wounds sustained or simply carried out until death. Number 5. The Breaking Wheel This was one of the most painful deaths to ever exist, so it was given only to murderers and robbers. They were sometimes termed to be wheeled or broken by the wheel, and later would be taken to a public stage, scaffold site, and tied to the floor. The execution wheel was typically a large wooden, spoked wheel, the same wheel that's used on a wooden transport cars and carriages. These wheels were purposely modified with a rectangular iron thrust attached. The executioner would start by breaking the legs. He did this by dropping the execution wheel on the shin bones of the convicted person and continued his way up. Here, the rhythm and number of beatings were prescribed in each case, sometimes also the number of spokes on the wheel. To increase its effect, often sharp-edged timbers were placed under the convict's joints. Number 6. Impalement Impalement by pike, pole, spear, hook, or stake was not only fairly common, but it was also popular during the Middle Ages, especially people convicted for treason or crimes against the state. 
People did invent many devices to execute this method of punishment. Different orifices of the body would be penetrated for different crimes in this gruesome method, though all of those eventually led to a very painful death. Traditionally, the stake would be partially sharpened and planted. Point up in the ground, the victim would then be placed over the spike as it was inserted part way into an orifice. As their body weight dragged them further onto the pole, the semi-greased wooden stake would force its way up through their body, piercing organs with agonizing slowness as it eventually penetrated the entire torso, finally tearing an exit wound through the skin of the shoulder, neck, or throat. Number 7. Flaying. Flaying is skinning alive, so even the name can tell how terrible it would be. This practice existed as far back as the Neo-Assyrian Empire, but it has cropped up in most civilizations at one time or another, including medieval Europe and in the ritual human sacrifices made by the Aztecs in Mexico. Various techniques have been utilized in the many different cultures in which flaying has been employed, but the basis remains the same. Slowly, slicing the skin from the body while keeping the victim alive for as long as possible. Chinese emperors Sun Hao, Fu Sheng, and Gao Hing ordered this skin to be peeled from their victims' faces. Death would normally come as a result of massive blood loss and shock. Number 8. Death by Boiling People back in the day loved watching misery, and naturally, what's miserable to them? Boiling the convicted in oil or water until the person dies. If the shock of the pain did not render them immediately unconscious, the person would experience the excruciating sensation of their outer layers of skin, utterly destroyed by immersion burns, dissolving right off their body, followed by the complete breakdown of the fatty tissue boiling away beneath. Emperor Nero is said to have dispatched thousands of Christians in this manner, while in the Middle Ages, the main recipients of the punishment were not killers or rapists, but coin forgers, particularly in Germany and the Holy Roman Empire. In Britain, meanwhile, King Henry VIII introduced the practice of executing those who used poison to commit murder. Shockingly, this practice is believed to have been carried out as recently as 2002, when the government of Uzbekistan led by Islam Karimov, was alleged to have tortured several suspected terrorists to death in this manner. Number 9. Burning at the Stake This is one of the more interesting punishments. This punishment is for people that are accused of treason or witchcraft. A rumored favorite of the mad Roman emperor Nero, this method saw the subject tied to a stake and smeared with flammable pitch, tree, or plant resin, then set ablaze slowly burning to death from the feet up. What sets this above the many other similar methods is the fact that victims were sometimes lined up outside to provide the lighting for one of Nero's evening parties. Number 10. Being hanged, drawn, and quartered. First recorded in England during the 13th century, this unusually extreme, even for the time, mode of execution was made the statutory punishment for treason in 1351, though it was intended to be an act of such barbarous severity that no one would ever risk committing a treasonous act, there were nevertheless plenty of recipients over the next 500 years. The process of being hanged, drawn, and quartered began with the victim being dragged to the site of execution while strapped to a wooden panel, which was in turn tied to a horse. They would then experience a slow hanging, in which Rather than being dropped to the traditional quick death of a broken neck, they would instead be left to choke horribly as the rope tore up the skin of their throat, their body weight dragging them downwards. I'm sure that you will all be glad that we are not part of those times anymore. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on our latest videos.